house with a rich history that is said to have made fragrances and toiletries for King Louis XV of France, as well as the official perfumer for Marie Antoinette. Now that's a pretty interesting f story behind the house. The house operates today in France and had recently started making fragrances again and using high quality ingredients that try to recreate the original scents from way back in history. I found it to be an interesting house and I certainly would like to explore some more fragrances. Welcome to Perfumey Reviews. Today I'm going to review for you Chipre Mousse. Now I discovered this fragrance through a sampling program at Lucky Scent and um, I liked it. I thought it was interesting. It was something I wanted to explore more. So uh, I went on onto the Facebook boards and I found some people who were selling decants and uh, I ended up buying some. And uh, I want to say thank you to a couple of people. Um, Rene, Mr. Rene, um, thank you for the decant and also um, Michael Reynolds. Thank you both. Um, I managed to get enough of this fragrance to last me for a while, but I do plan on getting a full bottle once I'm out of this fragrance because I like it that much. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and read a description for you that I got off of Lucky Scent of the fragrance. After the first rainfall in September, nature exudes scents of humus, peat, and wetland. This is the time for a promenade in the woods to enjoy the freshness after the heat of summer. Autumn encourages us to contemplate to observe. That gently prepares us for coming winter and, and its frostbite. The mossy paths, precious jewels of the undergrowth, are brightened by the last rays of sun. Cypress moss evokes in us our surrounding nature, which soon will be covered with the first fall of snow. Damp undergrowth and scorched leaves and the scent of moss before picking mushrooms and chestnuts. And I think that's a good description of the fragrance, honestly. Um, I think this fragrance is artistic in the fact that it really does kind of evoke that idea and that, that image of being in a forest surrounded by all of those fragrances, those scents coming from nature. It's a very natural smelling fragrance. Let's go ahead and read the notes. There's a lot of notes into this. In the top you have wild mint, clary sage, wild fennel and green shoots. In the heart you have oak moss, galbanum, angelica, fern, wild clover, mastic and violet leaves. And in the base you have vetiver, pine needles, oak moss, mushroom, fresh humus, roasted chestnuts, leather, labdanum, and balms. And that's a long list of, of notes in the fragrance and it really is a complex fragrance. Um, so, anyway, I, I wanted to discuss this fragrance because I enjoyed it so much, and I didn't really see any reviews on YouTube for Sheep Moose, for Sheep Moose, and um, so I wanted to take a stab at it. So, anyway, I have sprayed a dry down over here, and um, I want to go ahead and spray some of this. I'm sorry I don't have a full bottle to show you, but I just have my decant right here. Now on the opening of this, um, I get this refreshing coolness about it. It's it's herbal and green, it's minty, and to me I think it is bright and cheerful. It's not a solitary type of forest. It's uh, one that really makes you reflect on nature. Um, it really does kind of feel like breathing in that moist, cold air that kind of chills the nasal passage and everything. Um, 
before it starts to get cold in the winter. Now that's pretty brief. It lasts for a few minutes and then you start to get the uh, the oak moss and the damp forest floor, wet decomposing leaves, mosses, ferns, mushrooms, and black earth, and, and it's very plant-like and earthy. And underneath that there there is a uh, a leather. It's like a black leather and it's it there's like this fresh resinous note. And it's not resinous like um, you're used to in resin as in like crystallized resin or sap. It's like a fresh sap, like a yellow sap that's still kind of sweet and sticky with the leather. And then, you know, the herbs and the moss and dewy leaves and violet, there's violet in here. All of that kind of hangs around and, um, you know, it, it pretty much... It just it comes off as very natural, very realistic smelling. It's um, it it's not synthetic in any way at all, and it pretty much stays this way on me for a while. It's pretty linear. It doesn't really change a lot, although depending on what I'm doing and the temperature and things, I did notice that the fragrance, whenever I heat it up, it tend to shift off the path just a little bit and you could pick up more of that resinous leathery vibe and, and, and a little more earthy and it was warmer but it doesn't really veer too far off the forest path I mean it still has that that wild mint herbs violet leaves mushrooms and and, it, and it's really interesting to me I I don't know why but it's to me it's mysterious I just whenever I wear this I just keep sniffing it because it intrigues me and, you know, projection and sillage are pretty good. I mean, I'd say they're average. It's not, it's not going to get out there real big and, you know, offend people. And it's, it's a pretty minty, earthy smelling scent. I've had comments of people say that it kind of smells like tea in the air, which I can see maybe a, a, a kind of tea with that earthy quality and that minty quality to it. But, you know, after a few hours, it gets kind of closer, closer to the skin, and it kind of stays that way for a very long time on my skin. I mean, it, it doesn't ever truly become a skin scent, but it stays closer to the skin with kind of moderate projection for about 10 hours. All You know, it lasts on me for about 10 hours. And, you know, like I said, it doesn't really change a whole lot. It's fairly linear on me um, with, with little subtle changes, um, but it's nothing that completely morphs into a different fragrance like some as you go through the the heart and bass notes um, now I think this is perfect for for the time of year that's coming up when it starts to cool off all of the leaves are falling off and you know fall I think this fragrance would shine in fall I think you could wear it year-round I think it's uh, you know it can it can handle the heat pretty well it with its projection it's not really gonna offend anyone with the type of scent that it is too because it's even though it's earthy, it's somewhat fresh with that minty and herbal thing going on in it. it. Might not do so well in the winter time, and the reason I think that is because it has that cooling effect with that with that mintiness and that breathing in the cold air, and I I think that it wouldn't stand out and shine as much when you're in cold air and breathing in cold air and things like that. I don't. Um, I think it's probably better for daytime. I would wear this in the daytime. I mean, you could wear it whenever you want to, but I think it's better suited for the day. And uh, I think you could wear it anywhere. I think it would be a good scent for work because of its freshness. And, you know, it's really a unique scent. And it's classified as unisex. And I think that most people would probably find this fragrance to be a little bit on the masculine side. But that being said, I would love the smell on a woman, especially with it being kind of a tea-like smell in the air so if you're a fan of, of tea fragrances or or earthy fragrances then you're really gonna like this um, it is a little bit of an odd fragrance so I will say this if if you're into the fresh clean shower type scents um, you may not like this um, it's it's more of an artistic fragrance and it, it kind of has this nostalgic quality to it it's very natural I mean it's I like it I spent a lot of time outdoors growing up so 
I'm familiar with these kind of these kind of smells, so they really bring back uh, those kind of memories of being outdoors and, and camping and and things whenever I was younger. And uh, you know, I, I like it a lot. I I really enjoy it. If you like earthy scents and things, I think you're gonna love this. I really think you should check it out. Regardless, I mean, if you can you can get a small sample vial of this. I don't see the harm in it. Now, I, I think this runs about 165 for 100 mil, and I've, I've seen it on Lucky Scent. It may be available at other places. That's the only place I've seen it, but um, there are some other fragrances in the line that, that I'm definitely going to be checking out. One of them I tested was Horizon, and I, I liked it quite a bit. It was a patchouli cacao, and... and uh, it was a nice, it was very nice and and again it smells natural it has this earthy quality to it I, I think it's outstanding I think the house is very interesting and uh, I think you should you should really check it out so anyway thanks for joining me and I'll catch you later